Hey guys, William Murphy here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video on Luke's Mini. So, I haven't been in the garage now for a while. Uh, it's now the new year. A lot has changed. Um, some for the better, quite a lot for the worse. So, um, it's the first day I've managed to get into the garage. It's now like the 17th of January. So, um, yeah. 2020, it's not been a good year to start with. So anyway, less about that. Let's crack on with the job today and um, I'll give you a quick update of what I'm up to. Okay, so in the previous episodes, um, a lot has happened. Um, I'm struggling to think out what because I've not actually been in the garage now for about three weeks. Um, unfortunately, um, we've had a couple of deaths in the family, um, which you know, has really sort of hit home and, and not been not been great. Um, I've lost my job, which also is not great. Um, so 2020 is. <laughs> As I say, started off probably in a worse condition than I'd, I'd like it to have been at this point. Um, but, you know, we're coming out for this bigger, better and stronger. And um, just going to try and stay as positive as possible through this awful time. Uh, right, so I've done quite a few bits today and I haven't been filming it because, quite honestly, I'm just, just not feeling it. Um, and the stuff I have been doing is quite time consuming and... It's the sort of stuff that I'll take, you know, a couple of hours filming to edit it down to about, I don't know, 15 seconds of footage. So I thought what I'll do is just give you a quick overview of what I've been doing. So here we go. So the floors have all been painted and um, that's all ready to basically be, I'll we'll have the undersill put on, have the sort of seat brackets put back on and carpet, seats and etc. put in. So that I'm happy with. I ordered a new gasket for that, that's arrived, so I need to put that in. But today I've spent my time clearing up the, the rear seat. So uh, I welded in a patch up here. Um, that actually split on the sort of the bit that's more sloped towards the front. So I cut that out, I welded another patch in. Um, I made it make sure it's 100% strong and it's absolutely solid now. Uh, what I have done is taken out all of the um, I can't think what it is. It's like um, it's like it's under sealing, but it's, is it is it bitumen? I kind of rings a bell. Um, so yeah, that's that's been removed. I've now seam sealed all of the the welds and the seams. Now at this point, um, previously, this is when we sort of stopped and I spoke to Luke and asked exactly what he wanted to do with the car, because there was um, there was a hole up here, there was a hole along here, it broke over here, and I said to him, look, you know. It might be worth stopping what we're doing and assessing the situation because not only have I done the patches here, here and here, inside the boot, this patch up here is extended through and it's had bits of repairs done on the back. And I kind of said to him, look, is it worth just biting the bullet and replacing the whole rear uh, floor panel? So it comes from the very far lip of the car, the whole of the boot floor, and then it comes through into this panel here. Um, it's about £260 plus the VAT, plus the delivery, I believe. Um, look at various places. And quite frankly, that's a very, very expensive panel for, you know, for something that you're going to get, <laughs> well, very little use out of, really. Um, so we decided that the best thing to do would be to give it a go at fixing it. And if it didn't work, then we could look at doing it um, sort of replacing the panel. Um, so anyway, it, it's been welded, it's been repaired, and I'm pretty happy with how it looks. The piece over here was all shaped and it's all nice. So that is now um, seam sealed. I've got to spray over it once it's all dried, and then if I have enough, I can paint that blue the same as the cut, the, uh, the floor. Um, I've got to go over and ideally um, cut and polish this to give it a bit of extra strength. Um, the door step, the seal, and the rear quarter was painted in the last episodes. So these ones here, um, 
are filled along this edge which needs to be sanded down I just need to go across and just basically key up the surface for paint um, and then this doorstep the bit of the rear quarter and the seal can be painted I'm going to take the wheel back off to make sure that's not covered in paint um, but the, the painting stuff is a bit of a is a bit of a pain really because it takes a long time to do the prep works obviously very important um, especially for bits like this it's going to be out in the elements etc one thing that i can't do is paint the car and then continue doing other jobs when i did the rear wheel studs um it was a bit of a, a hassle because i had the face mask on and it just went quite not bad but it's really difficult to try and do that so i actually had to come back in and finish the other side the next day and then before you know it, you spent two or three days doing a little job that probably should have taken you, you know, nearly an hour. Um, so what I want to do is prep the, the doorstep, the seal, the quarter panel, prep the rear seat. And I'm going to go through and paint all of those areas in one sitting. Um, I'll probably do the, um, like the priming coat maybe one evening, leave it overnight, come back in. If it's obviously provided it's dry, it's pretty cold out here, although I have heaters and stuff that I can plug in. Um, I don't particularly want to leave them overnight, but if I can, if I can paint it, get it all done and dusted, and then you know come in the following day, spray it um, in the blue, and then leave it for a day or two days, or whatever. When I come back in the following day or the day after, if it's too fumy, then I'm just going to go away again. Um, I have I have breathing issues, which you know, not great, but what I don't want to do is make them worse because. You know, I'm I'm being impatient. There's no rush to get the car back because of the lockdowns. And um, while I would like to get this car done and gone, so get on with my own stuff, um, I'm I'm trying to be sensible with it and saying, you know, that it's not really worth taking the risk and rushing it. I'd rather get the job done to the highest standard I can do and to the best ability. And at least then when Luke takes it back, he can say, yeah, I'm really happy with this. Um, I mean, hopefully I'll say that anyway, but. If I can, if I've if I've cut corners and it'll 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 annoy me and obviously because I'm putting the content out to you guys, it'll annoy a lot of you and I'll get dislikes and and bad comments. I'll just put my hands in crap on the roof rack. So anyway, um, it's pretty much the update. Um, I've done a few bits and pieces on other bits which you've seen previous episodes and yeah, just trying to get everything prepped now, ready for like the, the, the paint and the, the installation of the interior back in. Once the interior is back in, the doors are closed. That's going to be a huge milestone for me. Um, I probably could put the seats in. No, I can't. But once, say, uh, say for example, I put the paint in that, I probably could put the seats in, but I'm not going to because I don't want to get any risk of overspray um, from the door steps, etc. So paint first, once the paint's dried, interior back in, windows back in, doors closed, move on to the next job. So... What are we going to do today? I've no idea. Um, I've got to do the fuel line, which I'll probably do once it's painted. Um, I've got to set the ride height again once it's painted. I've got to do the clutch once it's painted. So um, I think I'm pretty much done in the garage. So um, I'm going to leave this part of the video here and I'll come back when I'm next in a and we can um, get on with some work. So, we'll see you next time. Take it easy. Right, here we go. Another day, another dollar. Well, not in my case, because I'm unemployed. But anyway.
Right, back in the garage, and overall, it's looking pretty good. However, when I get further down the uh, line, you can see it's gone, gone pretty grey. I'm a bit confused by that. And also up here, it's gone a little bit grey there as well, so... I need to probably contact the company that supplied the paint to try and ask what it is. Is it that it's too cold in here? Is it that, you know, I'm, I'm applying something wrong? Um, underneath itself, it's pretty good. Um, frustratingly, on these little sections, um, right at the very front, I've, I've missed painting one of them, and the paint is completely empty now. So I'm going to have to order... Um, Let's try. I'm going to order another paint. And, uh, yeah, I've used two of those. So I've painted, obviously, the front and rear floor, both sides. The um, cross member. And inside here, I've painted the rear um, seat. So if I order another one, I can then go over, paint this bit here. Probably give this another coat of paint. Um, and then, oh, so yeah, underneath... And the same in patches there as well. Um, I don't know if it's because the heat is here and it's it's heating this bit here and that's dried really well and that bit hasn't. I, I just don't know. I'm using exactly the same setup I used for the other side and there was no issues. So, um, hmm, bit of an odd one. Um, but it's it's kind of dried. And that maybe maybe a polish will will cover it up or buff it up a little bit. I just don't know. But I will ask the question of paints for you. They seem to be extremely helpful of uh, giving information and etc. If I need to get another tin, then I need to get another tin. But you can see from here that obviously this section here is looking really good, and that section um, not so good. Oh, excited about that. Anyway, that's. Um, Right, really. it's now the next day. So the paint itself has actually dried really nicely. Um, well, the areas I was happy with yesterday had dried really nicely. Um, there was a certain area on the back, which I've just now treated as a test. And that has come out, obviously, really nicely as well. Uh, so next up, I'm going to try and get rid of this. So you can see, sort of like the, the, it kind of turns from like a, a nice, sort of shiny finish to a bit hazy. Now, I've just called the uh, old paints for you, and um, they well, I basically asked for some advice, because what I didn't want to do was, obviously I can't leave it like this, I'm not particularly happy with that at all, especially like, you can see, it's sort of really flat. Um, so he said, I can try a few things, I can apply more paint, which is kind of what I did here, and that came up much nicer, which, that's the last of it, paint, I'm, I'm all out, or I can use some heat. So I've, I actually ordered the heat gun um, to fit the, the bungs in the floor. And uh, you can see the heat of it already. Um, so I ordered the heat gun to, 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 to fit the bungs. But what he said was, if you apply some heat on a low setting um, to the area in question, so you're moving pretty fast across the panel just to try and go through, is it actually sort of like, it reduces the, or it removes the moisture from that paint. And... Um, it sort of brings the colour out. Now, I'm going to give this a pass and see what happens. I'm just filming this with my phone, so I haven't got a tripod here now, but I will, um... Oh, have I? No. One second. Okay, so... Right. <laughs> it didn't quite work. Now, the reason it didn't quite work is because, um... I don't think there's enough paint on here. So when I'm... When I did this rear rear quarter, and I it was this was much much worse. It it kind of it kind of just sort of like the blue came from the back and sort of took over the the grey. Here, as I'm trying to dry it, it's as if it's as if the grey is just kind of just a bit more prominent. Now, if you can compare this section here to this section here, this is this is pure blue. There's no there's no other differences, but you can see like little specks and stuff here of the grey showing through which is the primer compared to what's the hair compared to here where it, it's just paint so i think i need to order another tin um this is the custom color as i say from um paints for you and um mineral blue so i can order exactly the same thing again 
and um, I can just spray the rest of that panel. I can get underneath and, and you can see it sort of had a reaction here as well. So I'll get underneath and spray all that again. Spray the whole panel up and I think that will give me a better result um, by adding more paint to the panel. And what I can also do is I can give this area a second coat because you can see it's got a bit bit flat. Um, now it's not it's not essential this is painted because as I said previously you're not going to see it but it means that I can I can paint up the companion bins that side and this side um, and and hopefully I can you know when all the seats go back in and you look at it and you think oh yeah that looks looks awesome. So uh, yeah a bit of a bit of a pain because obviously now I've got to wait for more paint but um, I'm really happy I called them because their 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 feedback was was really good and uh it did work there but it didn't work there um and he said it's just because of moisture in the air so it has been raining which hasn't really helped um but it was much warmer so i assumed it'd be better i had the heat on it as well but you know i i'm no painter so this kind of proves it um i haven't got a spray booth or anything like that so it's just a case of just adding more paint over the top which i did it's sort of all the way along but this seemed to cover much better. Maybe this one had a bit more coverage. So give a thicker coverage, which is basically be like a second or th uh, like a third coat along here. But I'll probably just do the whole panel, and then um, I'll do the underneath on the seal as well, and then we can call it done. Okay, so that is the end of today's video. Thank you so much for joining me, and I really hope you're enjoying the content so far. If you are new around here and haven't done so already, please consider becoming a subscriber by clicking here. And if you want to watch the next video, click up here. Leave the comments down below and don't forget to click that like button also. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.